feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. The new overseer is insane. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help save us. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an... Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. You just thought you'd pop in? Don't take this the wrong way but you probably ought to just turn around and not come back. Things, well, they haven't gone very well since you and your dad left. This isn't the happy vault you grew up in anymore. There's real trouble. Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap, if you'll pardon my language. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. You're not alone in that, though. In all the chaos, Amada lost her dad, too. Lots of us lost family, to tell the truth. Now Alan Max, the overseer, and he's taking a hard stance against those who want the vault to open again. I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. Well, okay. Just be careful down here. The vault's changed, I tell you. That's it, old man. We're opening that door, and to hell with the Overseer's rules. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below. Stay out of this. I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! Stay back! Holy crap, you're... Cr Don't you know enough to stay away? I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're gonna try something dangerous. Yes, you do. Don't you know enough to stay? You're back again? They're a bunch of hellions, that's what they are. I'm at my wit's end about them, I really am. It's all kind of blurry for me, but I hear I owe you for saving me. But don't expect much. The whole thing was your dad's fault in the first place. Yes, you do. 
I don't know that I should be talking with you. With all of the bugs and fires, there was an awful lot of strain on the systems down on the reactor level. Our water chip's pretty delicate right now, but I'm working on setting her right again. It's just a phase they're going through. Every kid thinks they want to leave the vault at some point, but we all grew out of it. Damn, look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you gotta be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of our guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Because anything up there has got to be better than a lifetime of the same thing down here. Think about it, man. Down here, I'll always be stuck with the same job, with the same food, with the same people forever. You and your dad had the right idea. Get out of this pit and make your own life. The damned goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. Okay, hold still. I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Yeah, but I'm thinking it'll be a new gang. We ain't gonna just be in tunnels, you know. Besides, there's gonna be a lot more people who want to join. Competition's gonna be tough. I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Uh, nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! I missed your sense of humor, but I really don't think this is the time for jokes. We're in real trouble. And your help could make all the difference. So could you please take this seriously? For me? Chaos doesn't even cover it. It's a nightmare down here. People died that night, and all because my father went crazy to keep someone from opening the vault. And worst of all, then we found out the vault had been opened before, and they'd lied about it all our lives. After that night, I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. And even though we know the truth, the Overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the vault or anything. Well, Butch does, but he's too big a coward to go out on his own. Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death, and things would always stay the same down here. But now we know they don't have to be. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door, and we're not going to give up until we can reach it. I sc You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please be careful. I should have remembered. I was just worried. I don't know, maybe your time outside had changed you. Thanks, and good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. Hey, good to see you again. 
I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days is going to turn real ugly, but I'll be ready for it. Paul got bit real bad by some of those rad roaches, but he thought he could tough it out. If we'd had a doctor to treat him, he might still be here. Later. Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. Never should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I told everyone to wait here for you, that you'd know what to do, but they didn't listen to me. With everything they'd been through, they just panicked, but I knew you'd come back. I knew you'd know what was happening. You do, don't you? I... I knew he was crazy, but I, I never would have thought he'd try to kill us all. It just doesn't make sense. But there's no time for that now, is there? Now, our only chance is to survive outside on our own. Maybe I can still find where some of them went. If we split up, it shouldn't be too hard. How big can the world be anyway? Thanks for trying to help us. Maybe we'll meet again out there.